welcome back again to this channel my name remains Infoniso Udo imagine having an opportunity to study in the United States when you felt all hope is lost and you're not just going to the United States to study you're going to the United States to be developed mentally psychologically physically and otherwise this is what the take girls opportunity provides to our skill to our girls and this program is actually an initiative of the united states department of state bureau of educational and cultural affairs you might want to ask what is take girls so in this video i am going to tell you what is take girls what are the benefits of applying to take girls how to apply for take girls and uh, what you tend to gain if you apply for take girls so I want you to stay with me and follow through to this video. Even if you're not a girl, you will have a sister, you have a friend, you will have a cousin, a nephew, a niece, anybody, a classmate, somebody you like, somebody you love, anybody at all that is a female. So stay with me while we follow through on this application. This application, if you get into this program, it will change your life. I know what I am saying. It will definitely change your life. So what is Take Girls? So Take Girls is an international summer exchange program. So you ask what is summer program? Summer program is like that time of the year where um, the sun shines and you have a long break from school. In Nigeria, summertime is usually the last day before you enter into a new class by the following September. So that period where by school closes um, in July to September, that is summer period. So um, in some countries, summer period is usually eight weeks. Some countries six weeks, while some countries four weeks. But regardless of what it is, this program is actually covering a period of um, four weeks in the United States. And it's to inspire young women from around the world to pursue careers in science and technology. So if you have interest, a wimp of interest in pursuing a career in science and technology, this is your opportunity to hop in. However, this opportunity is not for everybody. It is just for young girls, teenage girls that are between the age of 15 and 17. And it, and it supports girls from Middle East and North Africa and um central africa central asia six regions of the world you can check that out and uh it's a 25 day experience in the united states in partnership with virginia tech university virginia tech university one of the best universities in the united states and this is what you're going to do an interactive technology and um, computer cam and everything and after the one month in the United States, you're still going to have a seven month of mentorship when you return back to your home country. So this is the previous um, cohort of people that won the Tech Girls. So let us check eligibility. Like I said, what does this program um, cover? It covers the overview where I just talked about. We are going to be taught on various things. You are, yeah bring together 111 peers from 35 countries and territories and 15 american young women for a 25 day us based experience with a seven more mentoring program pre and post exchange that, that means before you leave there are going to be some mentoring sessions to prepare you and put all of you in a the same level and pedestal so by the time you go over to the united states you already know what to do what you'll be working on and after you are done with your program in the united states when you come back to your country you know exactly where to begin from. So these are the eligible countries. You can check it out if your country is part of this and see what is there. So um, the experience, of course, the experience is always life-changing. It challenges you. You learn to code and some other tech skills. You network with influential industry. You discover your own innovative leadership style. You create meaningful relationships with other young women around the world for partnerships and everything you explore the diverse community of washington dc where the virginia university is located you also have the opportunity to inspire other next generation women and girls in your home country so yeah that is what you, you start to gain when you apply for this program you also have the opportunity to have leadership development people come to talk to you on leadership you improve participants ability and everything this program is one of the richest program for young women in the world like it gives you the very best like it hands you the very best you're going to be involved in tech training and stem career conversation it's 
they these are the conversations you're going to have connect with potential employer you know they are 15 to 17 is already a time whereby you can think with your brain your parent don't really have to tell you things to do because you are transiting into the adult age of 18 where you make timely decisions for yourself so while still under the guidance of your parent the united states government is actually helping you to develop your skill set your mental faculty and your iq to become the best the best and the best so these are the top companies that are partnering with united states government to give you your best life google dell you know women who code Bumble, Microsoft, is it true? Bumble is greeted by a woman. Uh, I think it's just nice that I mentioned that. Yeah, so you come here to apply. The application involves four stages, legibility, award details, US tech girls, and the application instruction. So let's go to our eligibility. Who are those eligible? You must be a citizen of this countries listed out here you must be 15 to 17 um you must demonstrate advanced skills and a serious interest in science technology engineering if you are in between this is not for you you have to be sure that you want to take up a career in science technology engineering and mathematics you intend to pursue higher education or career in steam yeah you want to go out there and study computer science data science big data all of those and all of those have strong english language skills you can speak english you can understand english you can write in english and um, exhibit maturity flexibility and open-minded mindedness will attain at least one additional semester so you would have to attain uh, another team when you come back from this program you won't just you get uh, committed to completing a community-based project upon their return home. Yeah, community-based project is what do you do to impact your community. That is community-based project. You must meet U.S. J1 visa eligibility requirements. You can actually check that out to see if you meet that eligibility. I think you should even check this out first before you start applying for this opportunity. Because it will be bad if you spend your time and energy and applying for opportunity. And when you're finally select selected, you won't be able to actually um apply for visa eligible candidates must be citizens and current residents of participating countries here yeah. Pre preference will be given to those who have limited or no prior experience in the united states if you have never been to the united states before this is your opportunity so the selection timeline it opened on october 17 and the application will close on 16 december um if you don't get in this time if you are getting this information late this program opens every single year you can start now and prepare for it if you know somebody that is between the age of 14 years now you can start grooming the person to actually prepare for this opportunity when the person actually turns 15 if you know anybody if you are parents you have to see this and see the information that is applicable here so that you can groom your daughter to the point where by when she gets to that age you will not be struggling to um, force her to do it bring her into the awareness of the things that are available for her out there so we click here to apply for the tech program then it still brings out your eligibility requirement we are supposed to check all answers all complete all question in english and then for the upload you are supposed to have um, a passport photograph for portrait yeah headshot of yourself which is clear and without filters you can do that with your phone and you can crop it to be perfect uh you don't need to go to a uh, photo studio but going to a photo studio is also fine but if you are time constraint your phone will work perfectly fine for transcript please upload your most recent academic transcript so you have to go to your school and ask them for your transcript transcript means your score your report card yeah that's what we call it over there your report card that is transcript for signatures please upload a picture and document of your signature and your guardian signature so ever is paying your school fees ever you're staying with that is your guardian so you snap the you sign the picture in a plain paper and you snap it you scan it and you upload it those are the things that they will ask you to upload and this is how to follow it so once you click here to apply it takes you here to apply so i have never applied for it before i uh so let's start it together and see okay plenty plenty information comes out so you have to read that and accept that i have to create an email address wow that is serious uh so you must have 
and email address um you must have an email address open an email address with your name you cannot open a sudo email address it has to be an email address with your name your full name and everything so i'm checking my phone now to see if they have sent the email like the promise that they will send the email so apparently i typed this email wrongly therefore i didn't receive it so now that i've typed it correctly let's see if i'll receive it now great okay so receive the email okay which allows me to log in and create my password from my phone i'm sorry i'm logging in from my phone so it's just to log in and create your password which is what i am doing right now great so i think if i go back and um I will have to go back great all right so now i can log in since i have already signed in from my phone so you log in so you don't need to check your phone i had to check my phone because uh i didn't want to go to my email directly here okay in this password i type is wrong it was I was typing something else and then i log in great so once you once you log in this is what you are gonna be seeing eligibility general information academic information essay information and all i did this to see if there would be um an essay to write so that i can guide you on how best to write the essay unfortunately you cannot jump to this essay session if you have not completed other session and if i want to do that it will take a long time so i wanted to see this video when you get to the essay information part and you're having issues filling that essay information part, you can screenshot it and put it in the comment section of this video. And I will attend to you on how best to apply for this. So if you apply for this, click it, check out the question. If you can't answer it, snap it and send it for me on my YouTube channel, the comment section of this video. And I'll be kind enough to actually attend to you. This is the network you are going to get into once you get into this program. Sometimes the the time you spend in the program is not as important as the network you are going to get into after this program. So it's it's an amazing thing to actually get into this program. And I, I commend everybody that I know to apply for this program. Every parent I know that has daughters, I'm already telling them to groom their daughters, to prepare their minds once they get to age 15. They would apply for this program because this program happens every year the testimony on this program exceeds this program they are available in all social networks so take this opportunity apply for this program share your testimony with me when you get into this program so i see you next time my name remains funny sudo and i am your host in this <laughs> series of application till i see you next time stay blessed and truly have a great life thank you